As some of you may know, Evan Shin has been Irish dancing since he was four years old. So I'm here to get a few questions with Evan about his dancing. Evan has been continuously dancing for 13 years because it brings him joy and it's from his culture. You make a lot of great bonds, it's like one big family. The people around it, like who also dance, make it a lot of fun and it's something that, you know, comes from my culture, so it's something I can relate to. Right now I'm training for the regional competition in Chicago. It's in November, the Thanksgiving weekend, and um, uh, right now we're doing practices at least five times a week. Um, two of those which are Oroctus practice, which Oroctus is a Gaelic word um, for the, you know, the regional dance competition. And um, so we're doing two practices of those with three practices of mandatory dance practice, which is um, what you sign up for when you um, enroll into the school. As Evan continues to dance, he hopes to become a top dancer, and he also wants to continue to dance through college. It takes a lot of work, I guess, if you want to be one of those top dancers, like world champions and stuff. They don't get anywhere just by sitting around and just going to dance practice. They, um, they actually go home, study their movements, keep drilling them and drilling them until they got them perfect and watch other dancers to see what they're doing and it just takes a lot of effort. Hopefully if it's near enough or if I can find a school that's close to the college, I'll continue dancing then. Um, my hopes are when I'm older, um, I get my um, Irish dancing teacher certification, and, which takes a lot of training and um, just if I can teach kids to dance. So hopefully if I play my cards right, maybe, you know, maybe the rest of my life. This has been Jake Bengewer signing out for KUGR.